Hey my legion, how y'all doing today? I'm here today to review a movie made by someone uh, who was my roommate and fellow soldier back when I was in the army from 89 to 91 in Garlstead, Germany. And his name was Jeff Moscone. And uh, even back then he's, he's been a drummer. That's been his profession. When he was in the army he was still drumming for a band called Vendetta that was a band that was on post at Garlstead, uh, Lucius Clay Cern. And he performed off and on with them. And uh, when he got out of the Army, he got out of the Army, his enlistment was close to running out. Uh, I remember calling up when I was, because I went to Fort Bragg after leave, after leaving Germany. And he was probably there for another six months or so, and then he got a, he was able to get early out. And they were having people sent to Desert Storm at the time, and he was able to get out. I think he wanted to end it. I don't know if he ever got sent back, because um, I really didn't hear from him much at all, at all actually, after I left Germany. And uh, he was still a drummer and stuff, and he made a movie in 2012 called Final Tears Married to Metal Married to Metal is a short film 39 minutes long or 40 minutes uh I watched it with my buddy John uh my buddy from high school John uh on Amazon and we rented it for like a, two bucks I gave John the two bucks uh that I paid for it and uh, we both watched it, and I said, uh, do you want to do a review? And he said, well, maybe you should do the review because you know the guy. But he really liked the movie. And like I said, I was roommates. I knew Moscone. I worked with him uh, when we were uh, in the, in, uh, at the 5A First Signal Company. And like, I ended up being roommates with the guy. And uh, I remember the first time meeting him. I always tell the story. I'm, if he sees this, I mean, cause I'll say, tell him I did a review of your movie for my channel. If he sees this, I remember, you know, coming in, they don't say, in, when you go in the army, you know, they have like, you know, you're going to be doing this, this, this. They have like, well, they had something like uh, in Saturday Night Live a long time ago, they had something for the Navy. It's like, you're going to do this, this, and it was like, just like the promo, but then they showed them mopping the floors, cleaning the bathroom, and stuff like that. They don't tell you about that in the promotional and the commercials for the uh, Navy or Army or anything like that. I remember telling my friend Ray, this was back in the 91 when I was in Fort Detrick, Maryland. I said, that's probably the most accurate Army uh, military commercial ever. Because they don't tell you about all the duty cleaning up and, you know, buffing the floors, cleaning the toilets and stuff like that because you do that a lot too. Um, but when I went... Uh, when I first got to Germany, I was in Brum, uh, Bremerhaven at uh, Karl Schultz concern. I was there for maybe a week or so, and they ended up sending me to uh, Garlstead, which is the Lucius Clay concern. And I remember going in to my room. I was with the 5A First Signal Company, and they had like one floor, co-ed, which was cool. Yeah, you know, not co-ed, not co-ed, and the, the rooms were co-ed, not like you could have a girl for a roommate or something like that would be kind of cool but that didn't happen that way but I mean you know, you know you have like girls in their room and guys in their room on the same floor and I remember going into the the hallway and Scone I call him Scone Jeff Moss Scone but I call him Scone and he was buffing the floor in civilian I mean it was he was off duty you know in civilian and he had like one hand on the buffer and one hand on the beer bottle I'll never forget that. I always tell that story. And he, uh, he always thinks that's funny. Um, anyways, I didn't hear from him a lot. I mean, I really haven't heard from him except for one comment. Uh, I remember I started watching his videos. I commented. I did a video back in 2013 saying uh, about Jeff Moscow. I said, hi, where, where you at, buddy? And that's back when he used to have the... Uh, video responses. You can actually have a video response to a video and then the person who made the video can accept that video. And then he commented on that video. And uh, it was great seeing him again. And then he responded and he said thanks while he gave him 
props for he did some other videos after that. But he did a movie called Final Tears Married to Metal. And uh, like I said, the, this movie is based on true story. And it talks about him touring with a band R-O-R-O-E-G. Touring all over like uh, Europe and all over the countries outside the States. Paris and all these other places. And it tells about his relationships with uh, the women. And then it's like he was having problems because, you know, he'd be away and then they'd be by themselves. And, you know, all based on, he said, based on true experiences. Uh, and he had failed relationships with these women. It's a really interesting story. I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, it was made very well. IMDb said it was a estimated budget of $10,000 for a short film. That's not bad. I mean, that's a lot of money, though. I mean, but they must be successful. They, I mean, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. It's a lot of fun. John liked it, too. He said, I should pretty much do a thing. And then uh, I remember he did an intro saying, like, uh, you know, this is for people who are uh, listening to metal and people are in the metal and stuff like that. Or some people are considered their lifeblood. I mean, I'm paraphrasing. And he said, isn't that some fucked up shit? I thought that was funny. That's the way he was. Always with a sense of humor. I really enjoyed the movie. Uh, I give it a 10 out of 10. It was really cool seeing him on the big screen. Well, on the TV screen like that. I said, if you're interested, it's on Amazon. I mean, you have to, uh, rental price is like $1.99. Not too bad. It's like 39 minutes, 40 minutes. I really enjoyed it, though. And it shows, like, uh, the movie shows clips of, like, him playing in the band and the places they go to, and then they show, like, the members of the band, and they show, like, in between there, there's, like, uh, clips of him in his relationships with other women and stuff like that, you know, and marriages and stuff. Really interesting. I really enjoyed it. So I give it a 10 out of 10. I want to give uh, Jeff Moscone a shout out. Uh, it's nice seeing you. It's nice seeing you in the movie, man. It's really cool you made it. Now, I mean, there's a couple other people. I know Alex Wilson made Lighter Fluid. It's supposed to be in a movie called Bonds, I Brain. Whenever Alex finally releases it or finally finishes editing it, you know, I mean, hopefully that'll be out soon. I want to see. You know, I'm in the movie. I, I would like to see my role in it. That'd be pretty cool. And also, uh, my friend uh, Patty Coleman, Patricia Coleman, is doing a movie too. I gotta ask her about how that's doing too. But you know, it was cool seeing you in the movie, man. It was awesome. I mean, you look a lot different now, at least uh, with all the tattoos and stuff like that. I don't think you had any when you were in the army, but I don't. I don't think. I don't remember though. But I hope you like this review, everybody. 10 out of 10 for uh, Final Tears Married to Metal. So until next time, bye please. Take care of my legion.